Let's go to Marshall's on Hollywood real quick. Now, usually when I come here, it's usually kind of dead. They took out a lot of the good stuff that used to be here before. We did find a Lucky Charms Crocs here though. That was actually a really good find. Like chopped down the men's shoe section over here too. So I don't know what we're actually in store for, but let's go ahead and see what's up. We still have a good selection of Crocs here. 29 bucks on the Crocs. Yeah, 29 for most of them. Those are pretty dope down there too. We even got some Crocs on sale here. 16 bucks for grade school size. $20 for other ones, $20, not too bad. And this men's section sucks, bro. Top 10, orange colorway, pretty decent. That's an Air Max Hirachi box. So they had some Hirachis here at some point, but this section is trash. Okay, here's some Hirachis, black and white for 60, 60 bucks, $59.99. See if we can find anything else worth it here. That's crazy how they've dwindled down the men's sizing, men's shoes so much. It's like they don't want nobody to come here. There's kids on the other side. It's literally like just one aisle for men's and everything else is kids and women's. I have plenty of toys over here. I should, I'm gonna dive through here and see if I find anything worth scooping up. Goes way back here. Nobody I'm interested in. We got Harry Potter for $9.99. Spider-Man, is it Spider-Verse one? I was mentioning in my one of my recent live streams how Marshalls is not mentioned when it comes to stores I go to. And I wonder why, because I mean, at one point Marshalls used to be really good, but after looking through all of this right here, all these sweats, all these athletic tops, there was absolutely nothing here worth even showing y'all. Searched low and I searched high and I did not find anything that I was looking forward to. So I feel like this trip to Marshalls was kind of a dead dud i mean we did find hirachis but we weren't grabbing those hirachis i did find some funkos nothing good for me maybe that harry potter could sell for something if you guys have sold that before or know more about it let me know in the comments below but uh i'm gonna see you guys in the next store you dig i stopped by Foot Locker to do some content for my bosco mitchell channel anybody know about these van moon eyes normally 90 bucks down to 19 dollars i looked them up on ebay no really recent sales but they are pretty clean though if you guys would have scooped these up or half flipped them for more, let me know. Back at another Ross. Let's go ahead and check inside here and see if there's anything worthwhile. I've been telling you guys in other videos, Trey Young 2's here like crazy. $25 for them now. Air Max 270's here. I don't know what that is. No tag on them. We definitely seen these all over the place. 60 bucks in the retail for those. They also have these uh, USA themed Grant Hills for 25 bucks. Definitely a pretty good find. Just not really something I'm gonna pick up. Hirachis, 55 bucks on these. They need to drop these prices down, but maybe because it's Christmas, they won't be doing that or just past Christmas rather. I like this colorway on these Metcons right here. Pretty solid colorway, 60 bucks on them though. No go. Are you guys picking these up at 55 bucks? Kind of a flooded shoe, not really a good margin on these either. 52 bucks, very clean shoe, good to run in, but not for reselling. These racks are fairly empty. I wonder just people scooped up all the good stuff or they don't have anything. Another pair of the Grant Hills, 25 bucks on those. Now over here at the grade school section, we got some mash burns, we got another color combination on these Grant Hills. 16 bucks for the gray school. Not a bad selection or colorway. Got some suede on there too. More matchments over here. That selection over there wasn't too good when it came to the shoes. We found a couple things, but nothing that worth grabbing to resell. Let's go ahead and check out the men's section. Right off the bat, we find some feelers. These must have been in the gray school section because they're so small and 19 bucks. Let's go ahead and see what we can find over here. See if there's anything worth it. We got some more feelers. A lot of Grand Hills and so many colorways popping up. And there are a good amount of people here. So if the pandas were here like I was looking for, I don't think they're here now. Sacconis. I got excited for a second. This is definitely one of the best colorways of the Kyrie Low 5, that football gray colorway. But if you guys look, they want 55 bucks for them and it's a size 17. Trey Young, or no. KD, Trey 5, 10s, size 16 on those, super big sizes. 
Then look at these. This is by far one of the best colorways. We got the Zoom Freak 3, 64 bucks. This is definitely one of the best colorways of this shoe. Surprised that they have them here for 64 bucks. So they should drop that price down. Uh huh. Sorry. They got some of these over here, the Audi Foams. 39 bucks. Same price that we've seen at Shoe Palace Melrose. So they do have a marked down to the right price. Good to see that. Then we got the form lows in this colorway with some good materials, 39 bucks on those. We actually got two pair of those right here, as you guys can see. Form lows, definitely some good materials on these. Got that black suede on there, 39 bucks on those. Converse basketball shoe for 39 bucks. Then we got some uh, Nike cleats, golf cleats, but we got the Kyrie fly trap or Kyrie. Man, what were these called? Yeah, the fly traps, right? 60 or 46 bucks on those, not a bad colorway. Another pair of the Trey Young for 36 bucks, so 37, 36.99 on those, so 37 bucks. Some resellers been here, or somebody checked them out, didn't like them. This is a decent colorway on these blazers right here. I like the materials used, 49 bucks on those. Nike golf cleats down to 22 bucks, reduced price. Reduced down to $22.99. Pretty clean. A new shoe I haven't really seen at the stores at Ross lately. Zion's, man. Zion, what's these? The Zion 1's, the Zion 2's. Bigger size here, though. 16. Size 16 on these. Definitely got to leave these boats alone. But it's good to see some Zion's finally popping up. $19.99 on these with the React. Definitely got a good colorway on these. Remind me of some of the old school shoes out there. Here we got a pretty interesting colorway with the alarm being so damn sensitive on the Dames, bro. How much are they going for? 23 bucks on these. These actually might be worth it. Let me look these up and see what's going on. Maybe the first shoe worth looking up. So we got 60 results on these. 22 bucks. 60 results listed on eBay, 59, the, the profit's really not there already. Let's just see what they sold for recently so we can double check and make sure. What are the recent sales and comps on these? 20, 76, yeah, not really worth grabbing. Definitely a nice shoe, but we gotta leave that behind. So overall, there were some pretty good things here for the personal, but nothing really good to flip. I thought those Dame 8s might, might have been well. Let me know what you guys think about those Nike cleats marked down as well. Maybe that's something that I'm leaving that I should be scooping up. The Nike golf cleats that were marked down. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything you see in this video. Let's get to the next store. Clearance section. You can see this from a mile away. <laughs> the Jeremy Scott gear. Wish it was good for Amazon for me. 29 bucks. Definitely clean. Extra, extra small on this. $120 normally down to $30. Yeah, clearance sections definitely be on fire. Clearance sections definitely be having some good stuff at the Rosses, bro, for real. Check out the hats really quick. When you guys are purchasing things from me on my website, make sure all your stuff is verified. We had somebody try to make a purchase where nothing was verified. Shopify told me there was so many red flags with their thing. I tried to get it verified from the person. They're not doing what they're supposed to to verify them for me. $9.99 on these hats. Normally, normally 22 bucks. But yeah, just make sure, just make sure if you're copying something from my website that your ID or your card matches the the address it's sending to. You don't want to have your card registered to one country, or you don't want to have your address in one country and your card registered to another country with no verification. And if that is the case, make sure you verify that you are a person who is not trying to scam. Cause there are a lot of scams going on right now and I gotta be cautious for myself. Make sure your stuff is together, you know what I'm saying? But uh, not really seeing no hats here. Still a good amount of hats available on the website, so check it out if you haven't done so already. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I was just waiting for you to walk, okay? Go ahead, welcome. Okay, thank you. Hello, gentlemen, welcome. Bye. What the hell? This stuff is getting serious here at Burlington. They had, they, I don't know if y'all caught all of that. They made me like, they did the person before me too. You had to walk in and then 
walk back and then like walk in the same way and then they have, it was it's crazy bro <laughs> people need to stop stealing from these stores they wouldn't have to do so much shoes really quick as i've been telling you guys we got the trey young twos everywhere so if you're looking for these 19 bucks right now even trey young twos didn't do so well a lot of people didn't like them so that's why they're going to be here at burlington's another colorway to trey young twos also but let me go skim through this and see if we can wow Trey Young 2 is just everywhere. Four colorways we've seen and we just got into this location, bro. Evidently, the Trey Young 2 did bad. Checking out the back wall because this location did have some different color shoes, man. I'm not going to lie. Different colors of shoes we didn't see. Don issue 4s for uh, 35 bucks. Yet another Trey Young 2. Just going through this quickly. Trey Young 2 is everywhere, bro. I don't want to see nobody going to a store buying a Trey Young 2 for a full retail price when you got so many of them. At the discount stores like Burlington and Ross. Another one. Another one. Just like 30 pair of Trey Youngs here, bro. What is going on? Let's continue to look around and see what else we can find besides some Trey Young 2s. Don Issue. NYC. 24 bucks, but they're like size 30. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. T-Max down here. Big sizes. More Trey Young 2s. Gill Zeros, 39 bucks on that. Definitely a solid colorway. 40 bucks on those. Slide on down here some more. We got T Max Burgundy colorway, size 13 on these for 30 bucks. A lot of basketball shoes here. Pretty good basketball shoes here for a pretty good price. The Magic 8 Ball T Max, 35 bucks on those. Size 16. Another pair of the Gill Zeros. Bigger size on these as well, size 16 for those. These are round two. Pretty cool looking shoes, just not really worth it. Plus, it seems like somebody might have wore these before or something. Did somebody just swap these out, bro? <laughs> 49 bucks on those. Don issues once again. Yeah, it's kind of uh, not what we're looking for over here. Got some irises on deck. This is definitely a solid colorway on these. The black and gold ones. What size is it though? Size nine, how much are they though? No retail tag on it, no markings on the bottom to let you know either. Definitely a solid find right here on these Iversons. Might be the best find so far. We'll look these up to see, hold on to them for a second. Um, nothing else really over here. Big size for these Hardens, man. That's like a size 18, 19. $34 on these Derek Roses. Not a bad colorway for this shoe, for sure. Some D Roses as well. Got like some dirt on them too. Not even worth looking these up. A lot of these shoes look like they've been super worn or tried on. A lot of them do. Might have a winner here, y'all. This colorway for the Iris is not bad. 28 of them listed. Their price listed pretty high though. Let's see what the sales are on them. The comps for this shoe. 84, 105. Very recently, also a full box with those 87, 100. This might be one worth taking a chance on. If you guys have scooped these before and sold them before, let me know what you guys have came up, how much you guys got for them. Of course, in the comments below. Different sections, somebody put these trail runners back. These actually are pretty dope. 49 bucks, you can't go wrong with this for sure. It's long line, like I don't wanna show people's faces, but the line goes all the way back here and there's only two registers. Makes me not even wanna get the shoe cause I don't feel like waiting that long in this line, bro. And there's no even telling how much those shoes are. Are they 39, 29, something like that. If you guys have scooped up those irises before, let me know how much you guys paid for them. Because that line is kind of crazy for only two registers to be open. I've been seeing a lot of people post these in the Discord. Let me know what's up with these shoes right here. Not a bad colorway. Pretty solid for sure. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So more locations at the Rosses in Burlington are like holding you up at the front for a second. I guess for whatever reason. Don't make a lot of sense, but I came here really quick to see what they got for shoes. That's all I'm really checking out, men's and women's shoes, and then I'm about to get out of here. Line is pretty long, so it gotta be something worth it in order for me to actually get into this line, you feel me? Got the back wall, don't really see anything right there. Um, 
they only have one like section here for men at this location which sucks we definitely seen those before not really worth scooping up just coming here to see if we can find anything that people have been posting in my discord energy 810 go ahead and click the link in the description if you guys want to be a part go ahead and share some of your finds or use that as a guide to show you what's in there at different locations you know what i mean form lows looking like we might be a dry situation today it's like around noon one o'clock maybe i should have got here a little sooner to see what we're really trying to catch up on you know what i'm saying other than that it's looking kind of dry here but it'd be like that that's why you got to go to multiple spots or just check your spots multiple times in a day we do got some blazers right there not too bad already looked those up in the past wasn't really worth grabbing for me okay so we got something over here we got something over here look at these definitely one of the better colorways of the jordan zion 2 they want whoa 70 bucks for them they're smoking they're smoking that la 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 bro 70 bucks on these what are you guys talking about let's put those to the side real quick we'll look them up just to see if they're worth it over here lebron 16s definitely a classic shoe if you guys remember this shoe he wore not this colorway but that shoe during the block then we got uh new colorway of grant hills 25 bucks on these this colorway is definitely not too bad army green size 10 for 24 bucks grant hill has kind of been flooded and if they're not flooded when you first see them they quickly become flooded because people scoop them up because they're only 25 dollars so let me know if you guys have picked up either one of these before let me know if you guys have found either one of these shoes before and if you have how much did you scoop them up so they want 70 bucks before tax here 75 99 36 results so there is a good amount of these listed let's see what's going on oh, come on so sold and completed is listed at okay 28 of them sold 65 79 74 75 and they only have seven they're they're retail for 70 bucks so we gotta leave these alone too even though the colorway is dope and this is truly one of the best colorways Truly one of the best colorways of the Zion 2, but we gotta leave these alone. Find the classic Grand Hills on the women's side once again for 25 bucks. Size 10, pretty clean on that. Other than that, man, most of this stuff here is dry. You see all the empty spaces on this wall right here? So we gotta get out of here and check out the next location. They make people hold up before you come in here for what reason, I don't know. Marshalls in my areas have been pretty weak, but let's go ahead and check out here and see what the men's shoes look like. Section here is pretty dead for the men. If you guys are into the 650s, they do got some of those here for 49 bucks. More men's shoes here, Brooks, Pumas, kind of a dead situation. A lot of the Marshalls I've been visiting lately have been narrowing down and shortening up their men's selection for shoes, and that's kind of whack. What's up with that?